Hello, sports fan. This is Steven here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. We're going to be covering Malik Neighbors' game-changing ability. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Daniel Jones has been the subject of a lot of chatter from the standpoint of him being the wrong quarterback, him being the wrong fit, Saquon Barkley's departure, uh, his injury history, a lot of him not really having success. But what comes into mind is, has Daniel Jones really been surrounded by the best we weapons possible in order to be successful for the New York Giants? We have to really dive into this. When you look at his wide receiving core, since being drafted, has only regressed year after year. When you think about the quality of wide receiver he has, he's never had the quality of a wide receiver by the likes of Malik Neighbors, if we're just being honest with ourselves. I'm not a Giants fan, no way, shape, or form, so I want to be uh, clear. I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan, but I'm just looking at the perspective of outside looking in and just being real. Malik Neighbors at LSU not only was one of those freak athletes, but he was the one of those guys that excelled. It doesn't matter if it's a slant, doesn't matter if it's a slow go route, doesn't matter if it's a go route. The kid can flat out fly. The kid can flat out catch. Having a high catch radius and being somebody that's there, not injury prone, but somebody that's highly skilled and that continuously is on the field, that's going to help Daniel Jones. So from the standpoint of, yes, he may have lost Saquon Barkley, which is a, a once in a lifetime talent. And you got to think, having wide receivers that can actually catch, get open, that can solve some of the you not having Saquon Barkley problem. But you got to think, the Giants probably are going to have a, a serviceable running back to start the season, but the wide receiver play has to be there to be able to make separation, to be able to actually stay healthy, the 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 ability to actually make game-breaking plays when you catch the ball. That's what the Giants are missing. So in order for us to grade Daniel Jones properly, he has to be healthy and he has to be able to have wide receiver cores that are respectful. Um, moving forward, I think this is going to create such a great thing for Daniel Jones to where now he can excel. He can now push the ball down the field. It doesn't just have to be dink and dunk offense. A lot of times what we saw, a bad offensive line for the Giants set the tone for the season, whether it be Saquon running for his life or Daniel Jones trying to basically stick it out and, and, and sit through uh, fireballs coming directly as soon as he hikes the ball where a corner's coming off or a linebacker's coming off or a DN or a D tackle's coming directly in his lap. So when it comes down to it, Daniel Jones has a lot on his plate. He has a lot to prove. Malik Neighbors is hopefully the answer for that because when the Giants are playing good football, that bolts for everybody else well because it makes it more competitive. Um, I think Malik Neighbors will help add at least one or two wins to the Giants season next year. I think that his energy is going to uh, invigorate that wide receiver room. It's going to create a lot of competition, and you're going to see Hyatt get better. You're going to see a lot of those guys in that room uh, get better. And I think that having Hyde on one side and Malik Neighbors on the other side, that's going to be a great tandem. Both these guys are good receivers. I watched them at Tennessee. I watched them at LSU. Hyde at Tennessee and, and, and Neighbors at LSU. You're, you're seeing what these guys can do. So I think this is going to bode well for the Giants. I think it's going to be a great season for them. And I think that they're going to build off this success. I think Daniel Jones is going to have a bounce back season and prove a lot of people wrong. So all you Giants fans get in the comment section. All you NFL fans get in the comment section. What do you think about Malik Neighbors? Do you think it's going to be a big impact or low impact? Definitely check us out and see us on the next video.